wondering, should I move to Roanoke? Stay tuned and we'll give you five reasons you're gonna love Roanoke. Mm. Hey everybody, it's Hal Cohn. And I'm Chris Cohn, we're with Cohn Realty Group. Thanks so much for tuning into our channel today. And if this is your first time to our channel, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell icon so that you're notified each and every time we release a new video about living, working, and playing in this amazing Roanoke Valley we live in. That's right, we have folks constantly contacting us saying that their friends and family want to relocate to Roanoke, Salem, or Provitai, and we love helping each and every one of them. <laughs> so if you're thinking about moving to or living in Roanoke, Salem, Provitai, why don't you just give us a call, send us an email, or shoot us a text. We'll be happy to start the conversation with you. And you are gonna love it. All right, so reason number one you should move to Roanoke is easy access to the outdoors. Yes, I mean, really, everywhere you look, we live in the valley, so everywhere you look, you're surrounded by mountains. Right now, we have windows all over, and I can see mountains out of every single window. So it really mm -hmm. feels like you're connected to those mountains, and they're just a short drive away. Yeah, or even a walk away, depending upon mm -hmm. what area of town you're in. That's true. And, and the second part of that, as far as easy access outdoors, is the fact that we've got 26 miles within those Roanoke City proper of Greenway Trails. Exactly. So you could be downtown working or hanging out and get easy access to the Greenway. You could walk to it, bike to it, and there's... Take the trolley. Take the trolley. Take the trolley. That's true. Yeah, good point. <laughs> and then once you're there, you've got different attractions, yeah, or features, right? Yeah. So like right behind Black Dog Salvage on the Greenway is a sculpture garden. I know, it's so beautiful. Recycled materials throughout mm -hmm. the sculpture garden. That's a great point. And there's stops along the way of these Greenway trails. You can hop from a restaurant to an ice cream parlor or just a lot of variety with these Greenway trails and they're throughout the whole valley. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so they're interconnected <laughs> for Roanoke County, Salem as well. But we're talking primarily about Roanoke City right now. And the Greenway trails always are connecting to parks. Yes. About parks. Oh my gosh, there's so many parks throughout the valley. And there's pocket parks and big parks. But these parks you're talking about, typical playground parks. So it draws a lot of families, mm -hmm. a lot of fun, a lot of kids. But you also have sports connected with them. You have tennis courts and basketball courts, things like that. But also there's skate parks too. Mm -hmm. So there's a ton of parks. You're really not far from a neighborhood park or a larger community park anywhere you live. And not only parks, let's talk about trails and things like lakes and rivers. Yeah, so we've got trails and we're talking about walking trails, biking trails, and you can be at Carbon's Cove, which is oh, probably yeah. 10 minutes outside of Roanoke City, which is a major mecca for mountain biking on the East Coast. And kayaking in the actual Carvin's Cove. That's right, yeah. Reservoir. yeah. And fishing there. Mm -hmm. So that kind of goes along with lakes and rivers as well, right? So we've got Roanoke River goes right beside Carillion Clinic, <laughs> yeah. the hospital, which is one of the major employers in our valley. And you can, you can basically, if you were a nurse or doctor, you could like bring your kayak to work and just throw it in because there's a landing Absolutely. there to actually access at that point. Yeah, I mean, it really is a, a great city, a great valley, valley, and our attraction, our main attraction is that easy access to outdoor that has really not been touched. It's a beautiful amenity to our area. Yeah, absolutely. So people that visit, people that live here, love the opportunity to be outside and enjoy the great outdoors. All right, so reason number two, you're gonna love Roanoke and you should move here. It's gonna be great neighborhoods. Yes, we have so many to choose from. And Roanoke boasts a population of only about 100,000 people in Roanoke City alone. So it's kind of a mid-sized town. It's not too big and it's not too small. Yeah, and with that, with the Roanoke City proper, so I'm at the Roanoke City map, we've got 4404, is that right? 40 neighborhoods can be found within the city limits. Yeah, we're talking about Roanoke City, but let's broaden it out too. We'll talk about some neighborhoods in Roanoke County and Bobatai and also the city of Salem. So those are the primary areas we look at. Um, you wanna start with one of your favorites? One of my favorites would be, I'll talk about Greater Diarly area. Okay, sure. So that is gonna be a smaller area that's gonna be on the cusp of the county, but it's in the city. And this gives you a great opportunity to buy a house 
that will be uh, on a little bit of land, not a ton of acres necessarily, but you're gonna feel like you're in the country, but you're gonna be right by the city and totally very super convenient to everything. Yes, and it's really tucked in. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a hidden jewel in the city that not a lot of people know about. One of my favorite areas is South Roanoke, and it's right up against the hospital, Carillion, mm -hmm. and it neighbors downtown. So very convenient to a lot of things. But this is where you're gonna find a lot of historical homes, and it's very prestigious in the way of the streets and the neighborhood feel, and you're gonna get a lot of architecture and rich history in the area. Yeah, and it's super, it's super walkable in the area. Mm -hmm. People going up and down the hills all the time, out running, biking, and then you've got like restaurants and those types of things that have their own little hub there as well. Uh, also in the city, we've got, what I like to say is we've got Grandin Village itself is kind of the hub of this area. And you've got three neighborhoods in the city of Rona, the, the Grandin Village. And that's going to be Grandin Court, Raleigh Court, and Wasina. So within those, I mean, you've got different styles of homes. I mean, the community there is so tight-knit. It's amazing. Yes. They love their community. They love hanging out. And the type, style of homes you're going to have there are going to be kind of historical, like four-square homes. You're going to have a few ranches, those types of things but you're gonna get older homes in that, those neighborhoods for pretty good value, and you'll be super convenient to, uh, there's a Rondo co-op there, there are restaurants there, there is a theater there, so you've got tons of access to great activities there. Yeah, it's like its own little village. Mm -hmm. And speaking of entertainment and things to do, I wanna talk about the family-friendly Cave Spring, that's in Roanoke County. The Cave Spring neighborhood appeals to a lot of families and retirees alike, yeah, sure. but it's very appealing because it has some nice mountain views, it's a more affluent area, and also it has things like, you'll find a lot of subdivisions here, and some traditional homes as well. There's also some pockets of some modern homes in there. Yeah, so you've got subdivisions, and you've also got some older homes mm -hmm. in there also, and you have super convenient to grocery store, restaurants, right shopping, those types of Business things. Business centers yeah, too, exactly. along 419. Yeah, exactly, absolutely, yeah. So, and so that's South Roanoke County. Then in North Roanoke County, we've got the Bonzac area. Mm -hmm. And in Bonzac, you've got pretty much subdivisions are there for the most part, which you can get houses from anywhere from like 200 and some odd thousand up to like four or $500,000. But with those houses, you get some amazing views in the valley. You've got convenient access to Reed Mountain Preserve, which is a uh, nature preserve and hiking trail that's perfect for families up there. And let's not forget City of Salem. So City of Salem is, is its own municipality mm -hmm. and it's got this quintessential small town feel and everything you need is right in there. So the housing really varies based on where you want to be, but in the downtown proper, you'll see a lot of those historic antebellum homes. Yep, absolutely. They're gorgeous. And then there's some subdivisions as you go to the outskirts of Salem. That's right, yeah. And then last but not necessarily least is going to be Botetai County. Mm -hmm. So that's not Roanoke proper, but it's just a county over. Yes. But lots of access, like Appalachian Trail goes through there. Lots of different style of homes. But it's a great spot so you can be outside the city, but you can have a true country feel be about 20 minutes from downtown. Exactly. So lots of neighborhoods to choose from. Yeah, absolutely so. Pick one. All right, so Chris talked to you about the old. Now I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about the new. So the new that we're seeing here in the Roanoke Valley is gonna be technology, innovation, outdoors, which you hear us talk about all the time. So those are the draws for everybody nowadays. People are wanting to get away from the hustle and bustle of the big city. And a lot of people are moving to the Roanoke region so that they can have a better quality of life and they can actually enjoy family time and enjoy being together outside. And we know a lot of folks that have moved here and just started their own business because they love the quality of life mm -hmm. and it's a pretty welcoming environment for entrepreneurs. So it's really fun to hear their stories too. Yeah, we got the Virginia Broadband Authority that's trying to help make sure that we've got that astronomically fast lightning speed internet so that you can have any type of online business that you're looking for. That's right. All right, so reason number four you're gonna say, I should move to Roanoke is gonna be the culture. Exactly, yes, and I love museums, so I'll start talking about that. We have a pretty incredible history museum and a phenomenal transportation museum with a nod to the railroad that we talked about. <laughs> we also have an incredible science museum and even a pinball museum. Yes, we do. And then if you're into more of the performing arts, we have the Roanoke Ballet, Roanoke Symphony Orchestra, Opera Roanoke, and the Mill Mountain Theater. Yes. It is just, 
you always have something to look forward to at the museums or the arts. And not to mention, we have a lot of music venues too, outdoor and indoor. So count that in for performing arts oh, as yeah. well. Oh yeah, I kind of forget that. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about visual arts a little bit. This is really a mecca for a lot of artists here. It's, it's just so many galleries that you see downtown and artists working out and about. It's just a great culture for artists and also crafts. Mm -hmm. You see a lot of Appalachian crafts in the area. Ooh, you stole my word. I think Appalachian crafts too. Oh, there wow. you go. <laughs> and where do you find some of these? Oh, you're going to find them at the Farmer's Market, which is in downtown Roanoke, uh, a weekly, actually daily during the season, mm -hmm. that the Farmer Market's open right downtown in the city center. And, and there's also a Farmer's Market in pretty much every municipality. Oh yeah, in Benton, Salem, out in Botetourt, right. even in South County, they, they set up a pop-up uh, farmer's market there. Yes, and so you can find those things at farmer's markets. And boutiques. Yeah, right. boutiques. And you'll see craft shows happening all the time oh, too, yeah. where artists come and sell their wares. So it's, it's a really neat arts and culture. This is a great place for it. You're gonna enjoy it. <laughs> Alrighty, so reason number five you're gonna say, I should move to Roanoke, is gonna be the food scene. That's right, you can explore fine dining here in the Roanoke Valley, or all the way down to diner and dive dining. Yeah. <laughs> There's tons of genres of food. I wanna dive into the farm to table movement. One of our favorites is Local Roots in the Grandin Village, mm -hmm. fantastic restaurant, as well as Lucky Downtown. They really emphasize that farm to table freshness. Yes, and then one of my favorites is gonna be breweries that we have. Yes. So we have Big Lick Brewery, which is kind of a microbrewery downtown Roanoke. We've got Parkway Brewing here in Salem. And then we've also got Old Salem Brewing in Salem too, which is downtown. So amazing beer for those of you who are brewski aficionados. And very different vibes. The atmosphere yeah. of these places are really neat to check out. You'll have to go to those. Yes, yeah, so you can actually go there and hang out. I mean, they've got food trucks at some of them. They've got places to hang out inside, outside. Music. Yeah, so lots of fun to be had there. And wineries, there's quite a few wineries in the area. We've got a great region for growing grapes and they have a lot of entertainment there as well. Things like Valhalla and Chateau Morissette, some of my favorite, there's Amrines, there's just a whole list of wineries. And they have various activities that go on at those, mm -hmm. those particular ones we just mentioned as well. So you can go up there and hang out like on the weekends, right. they have dinners and meals, and I think Chateau Morissette actually has a place that you can actually rent like across the street now too, mm -hmm. to make a weekend of it. Okay. And then if you're looking for more of a, I don't know if this would be a dive or not, or a diner, but it's going to be a casual food. fare. Yeah, so food trucks, you know? Yes. Yeah. So we've got Mama Jean's Barbecue, which we love Mama Jean's Barbecue. Everything there is delish. Yes, and also let's talk about the local, locally sourced kind of eat local movement. Mm -hmm. There's quite a few restaurants jumping on board with this, and I love it. Yeah. Village Grill is trying really hard to source a lot of their foods locally, mm -hmm. and also Farmer Gesa, killer hamburgers. Yeah, absolutely. And then, near and dear to my heart, being from oh, South yeah. Georgia originally, is Southern Comfort Food, as well as Modern Flair. So you get the uh, comforts of uh, traditional Southern food, but then you yes. get a little modern twist to it. And the couple, so for true Southern comfort food, we've got two that would be home place and the mm -hmm. Roanoke are proper. Those are kind of your traditional diner type that you would say, oh yeah, this is true Southern food that I'm used to. And then you've got River and Rail, which oh, takes it up a notch and puts their modern spin on the Southern comfort food. And they do a lot of locally sourced mm -hmm. uh, food as well. They it's sure delicious. do. Yeah. So if that doesn't whet your appetite, let me tell you about some other genres that we have around the city that you can find. We have things like Thai, Chinese, Mexican, Japanese of course, Indian, we even have Lebanese food. So quite a bit of cultural influences in our restaurants. It's a great choice, a lot of choices to choose from. Yeah, you're not gonna, you're not gonna miss out when you move here and when you're looking for food to eat. You're gonna have multiple opportunities to taste various palettes of food. That's right. So we hope you've enjoyed learning the five reasons we think you should move to Roanoke and we know you'll love it. You will absolutely love it. So thanks again for tuning in. I'm Hal Cohn. And I'm Chris Cohn. We're with Cohn Realty Group. Bye. Bye.